This is an object that most people will never see in person. And this object quite literally cost more than every skyscraper in Manhattan combined. It took 13 years to build, 16 nations contributing, on 100,000 people working on it. This single object is worth $150 billion. That's billion, not million. Making it more expensive than the Burj Khalifa, the Hoover Dam, and the Pentagon combined. And here's the craziest part. It's not even on Earth. Because after you watch this video, you'll understand how humanity's most expensive object changed everything from medicine to space travel and why we're about to let it burn up. The impossible partnership. To understand how this happened, we need to go back to 1993. The Cold War had just ended. Two superpowers that spent decades aiming nuclear weapons at each other suddenly agreed to do something unprecedented. To build a home together. Not on Earth, but 250 miles above it. They called it the International Space Station. At first, the estimate was simple, $17 billion. It's ambitious, but manageable. Then Japan wanted a laboratory. Europe wanted modules. Canada offered robotics. Before you knew it, 16 nations had joined in and the costs exploded. By the time the first module launched in 1998, the project had already ballooned past $100 billion and it wasn't even half finished. Building the void. It's November 20th, 1998. Russia's Zarya module blasts off, the first piece of the puzzle. Over the next 13 years, astronauts assembled this entire station all together in space, piece by piece, floating at 17 and a half thousand miles an hour, all in a vacuum with just a thin visor between them and death. 42 assembly missions, 136 space flights, and 13 years of continuous construction. Every single launch cost one and a half billion dollars. Every solar panel was 250 million dollars and every lab module was a billion each. Just to put one kilogram into orbit costs more than a bar of gold. By 2011, the structure stretched longer than a football field and the length of a stadium, gliding silently above Earth. And the final price tag was $150 billion, making it officially the world's most expensive object the humans have ever built. But here's where it gets interesting. Who actually paid for all of this? The business model. Well, let's break it down. The United States gave 100 billion. Russia gave 12, Europe gave 10, Japan 5, and Canada 2. Even today, every nation pays rent for lab time, and it costs 3 billion every year just to keep the lights on. That's 7 million dollars per day. 83 dollars every second you're watching this video. A business analyst once joked, the ISS is the world's most expensive Airbnb, except you can't check out. Over 3 million experiments have been run in orbit protein crystals that led to cancer treatments, material science that revolutionized manufacturing, research on flames, fluids, and human biology that simply can't happen on Earth. All this data reshaped medicine, agriculture, and engineering. The return on investment. Without the ISS, SpaceX might never have existed. Elon Musk's earliest contracts came from NASA resupplying the station. Those missions funded the Falcon 9 and the reusable rocket technology that dominates space today. Blue Origin, Rocket Lab, Axiom Space. Today, the global space economy exceeds $500 billion annually. Satellite internet, GPS systems, reusable rockets. All of this is built on the foundation of a $150 billion platform constructed in the 90s. That's a return on investment that no spreadsheet can measure. The end of an era. The ISS is unfortunately dying. Cracks are appearing, systems are aging, and parts are failing faster than they can be replaced. Unfortunately, by 2031, NASA plans to deorbit the ISS, letting the most expensive object in history burn up in the atmosphere that it helped us study. Thankfully, its successors are already in motion. The Lunar Gateway, a $200 billion station orbiting the moon, private replacements from SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Axiom Space, orbital hotels, research labs, even space tourism. The next most expensive object ever built will likely be a lunar base, or it could be a city on Mars, and it'll make $150 billion look like pocket change. Because every era has its pyramids, its cathedrals, monuments, and this one just happens to orbit at 17 and a half thousand miles an hour, right above our heads. So, $150 billion, 25 years, 100,000 people working on it, 16 countries, and one dream shared by everyone on Earth. Maybe that's the real value of what we built. If you learned something from this video, make sure you subscribe because we upload every week.